everyone, Kelly here. So I got this great idea from Marcy at Mixed Media Girl, you guys probably saw in one of my other videos, that um, she spray painted a vase, put it on her cup turner, added resin, and um, then she added alcohol inks to it. So I use KS resin. I use for the for the faces and my coasters. I use the liquidy split. It has a working time of 15 minutes, so you kind of have to be fast about it. Um, but thankfully, with vases and coasters, you can do it pretty quickly and not have to um, not lose too much time. So I spray painted this face white sheet put the bottom and I'm going to use some orange and reds and a little bit of yellow in here All right, I'll give that a good coating here make sure you get the rim I do it just slightly with my fingers so that it doesn't drip over the edge I love this because it makes it so much nicer than pouring over the top of your vase and having it drip down so give this a try. These cup turners are fairly inexpensive. If you get a, you know, um, check out Amazon. They're like, you know, anywhere between 30 and you, you can spend a lot of money, but you know, 35 and $50 for a, a decent one. Okay. Use my heat gun. Pop some bubbles. Plus I want to heat that resin back up again. Make sure you just check for any spots that are missing resin. <clears throat> I'm so happy I saw this on Marcy's channel. This is a such a great idea and so much easier, you guys. I'm telling you, try it. You'll love it. Okay, that's good. Let's get some, we're gonna just strip on some, just kind of drip them on where you want. Just don't use too much because it makes the resin soft. You end up with little bubbles and clumps everywhere, so you don't want to do that. This is rose hip. It's a reddish fuchsia color. That'd be pretty. And let's get some yellow in there. I still want some of the white in the background, so make sure to do the bottom. Get around the rim. This one's gonna be really pretty, I can tell already. Tell you guys to not forget the bottom and then I it's the last thing I do because I forget to do the bottom. Alright, and then we're gonna heat it back up to get some of that alcohol ink moving around. Popping any random bubbles. way you can see like where you want to add more color if there's color missing in places that you want it I kind of want a little bit of color up here Maybe a little bit more there I have a show coming up in September, September 18th and 19th at 
Marin County Civic Center in Northern California. Um, if you guys are in the area, it's called Treasure Fest. You can look it up online. I'll also put a link for it in my description below. Oh, this one's so pretty. Love it. All right. I will come back and show you the end results. Okay, so it's been uh, so eight o'clock. Uh, it's been about eight eight hours. No, seven hours since it, I did this. There's the bottom, nice and clean, smooth. So with Liquidy Split, KS Resin's Liquidy Split, it's dried to the touch in about five to six hours. I still wouldn't like bang it on anything. Uh, cures totally in 12 to 24 hours. But now I don't have to do anything to this space. It's done. The edges are nice and clean. No bumps, no ridges. I will just sign the bottom with my signature or my initials and the date and then just put a really thin coat of resin over the top of that. But other than that, it's ready to go. Look at how pretty it is. Oh, it turned out so good. I'm so happy with this one. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Please leave them in below. And I will get to them as quickly as I can. Any comments, thoughts, color choices. Give me some color choices. I would love to hear your guys' input on what I should do next with the background, with the color, the ink colors. Have a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.